front, double bicep. You know, Dan, we talk about guys with uh, marked improvement over the years, and, and Ronnie Rockle certainly has to be on close to the top of that well, list, if not on it, because the strides he has made in the last few years, coming from basically lower to middle of the pack to, to a contender, and you can see right here, excellent physique, very few Side weak chest. points. The one thing he needed to basically work on is his back, especially with and we're going to see Ronnie, not the tallest guy. He doesn't have the Kai Green hairdo to, to help him in that height. But um, he's got to get that whip back, and back up there in order to stand with these guys, especially off the heels of Kai Green. You know, we always talk about some of the great bodybuilders who are coming over Let's from Europe. Rip. You know, whether we're talking about Dennis Wolf or... Or even, uh, you know, Gunter Schlierkamp, who is rumored that he's going to be making a comeback here this time next year. And we'll talk about that more later. But at this point, given the fact that Side Ron tricep. Raquel finished seventh at the Olympia just five months ago, this is the number one bodybuilder out of Europe. And um, he's really, really continued. We've talked about his consistency. It's unparalleled how he is able, with the exception of perhaps five. Dexter Jackson, there's no one who brings it as consistently as Ronnie Raquel is able to bring it each and every time. And um, here he is looking for a spot among the top six. And once you get past those top four, top five guys, the door is wide open for Ronnie to land in that final pose down. And I think the key is what you just said, Dan. Yeah, past that four or five, because I don't think he's got enough to contend for those top spots. Uh, the arms in particular, Thank the triceps you, needs to work his back Rockle. while improve. Uh, still lagging behind the rest of them. And, um, again, a, a very good bodybuilder, but you